And buenas noches a todos. Welcome back to Tom Plays Europe Universalis 4 for Absolute Beginners. We're back with Castile. Left off a little abruptly last time, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, we're. Uh, so we've conquered a couple of nations in an extremely one sided war. We have an uprising over here. Fortunately, happened where there's a castle. But nonetheless, we are cutting it a bit fine to go and take them on. Unfortunately, I think we need all of our forces, realistically. So I'm not at all convinced we're going to get there in time. Okay, we have another institution. The printing press. It's going to be an interesting one. I'd expect that that will have started in Germany. There we go. Ulm. So, yeah, looks like a few places have it. Possibly not any of ours, though. On the plus side, oh no, Luxembourg. So we're at least getting Luxembourg, but in that case we really need to deal with the Luxembourgian separatists. So we need to keep Luxembourg in the fold. Okay, so this one might be a little trickier to get than the others. On the plus side we'll hopefully be able to get more money this time. Right, I'm going to send this ship back. We also have a lot of diplomats. So, having looked at Liege for access to Luxembourg, I'm going to improve relations with these two. In fact, let's do Trier as well basically hoping to have some way at least someone who will give us military access so that we can successfully take down the separatists So yeah, we're currently working on our sixth colony in Brazil. We're also coring these two, which we took by military force. Which is why we haven't yet formed a colonial nation. Amazingly, we were actually close to getting our fifth colony building in Florida as well. So assuming the Bahamas, oh no, they're Cuba, yeah. Fair enough, so the Bahamas were part of Cuba, part of the Caribbean. Absolutely fine. So we've got one colonist in Africa, we've currently got two in North America, but we're going to move one of them as soon as the colony's finished. And they're going to start building up Castilian Brazil in South America as soon as possible. Should get the rest of our army up. How are we doing for money? Right, we are losing money, but at least we're not losing too much. We've also got room for another papal favour. So, well, we do need prestige to be fair. Although mercantilism might give us more money. Prestige give us any money? It does give a global trade power, so let's go with Prestige. I'm currently Curia Controller as well, so we've got a bunch of advantages which we may not be able to keep. Looks like we've lost the Siege of Tlemcen, but at least it held them up. So...
What else? Havana. Ah! Okay, England is attacking our main island. That's annoying. Never mind, at least I'll be hideously overwhelmed if there's any kind of battle. Irritating though it is, and if nothing else, it gives us a chance to gain a foothold up here, which is more their area. So, I'm not going to worry too much. Okay. So we now have the main army. I'm just going to head over and hopefully eliminate these guys. Probably not fast enough. Oh! Should have mothballed this. And it's too late. So we gain separatism because I didn't have that castle active. Okay, I think we may have had this before. Maybe not. I always think it's worth doing ease attention because it makes you more popular with loads of people. Which is high on my list of things to do as a rule. Just questioning whether it'd be worth reducing diplomatic relations by annexing this vassal. Oh, there we go. That's annoying. Tell you what, split the army, they can carry on doing the siege, and I'll take these guys up to hopefully deal with the Luxembourgian separatists. It's gotta be worth a try. Gain another technology, modern theocracy. Okay, well that's good. That really is good. Right, so we've got a new idea group. We've also got a new decision. Two decisions. Conventicle Act, which is highly Catholic, and a Declaration of Indulgence Act, which isn't. So we're probably going to go for the Catholic one, I think. Right, well, let's get this ship on its way at least. And then we'll have a look at the ideas. Okay, so we are vastly further ahead in military than in the other two. Note that we've also got additional military, so we really should go for a military idea. So that's an interesting one. Quantity ideas makes more sense than it normally would to me for colonial nations, because I think the bonus gives us an additional land force limit. And also it makes it cheaper to maintain armies. But I also don't think we're doing too badly, so I'm actually wondering about going for defensive instead. Oh, that's got a land maintenance modifier as well. Right, defensive it is. I believe we have battlefield commissions, that's good. Military drill, some bit extra morale, which is good. That should, both those things should make our armies more powerful. Yeah, that's actually a big plus. And we're still technically ahead. Also, I believe tech level 12 is quite important, so I'm glad we got there first. And yeah, we just need to speed on to the next admin tech. Alright, I'm gonna head straight down to attack, except I'm not because I can't, because I need military access. Can we get military access? It looks like we can. Let's just stop improving relations with Tria.
Okay, Roman fever, it's always best to organise a response. Limits the damage as much as possible. That's for military access. They have allowed it. Hoping, especially with our two new military ideas. Against Bennett. of worry against Benin. Okay, I'll accept. I'm probably going to regret it because it probably means that my very small colony defence army down here is going to get crushed. Oh, well, there's not much I can do. Obviously not planning to help Portugal very much manually if I can avoid it. Right, what are we looking at? Algerian settlers again, separatists again. We've also got a colony that's become self-sustaining. Right, so this group here needs to pretty much immediately move down to South America. I'm going to take this one next. It's sort of more on the coast. I think they might be more valuable in terms of trade. Might be wrong. Doesn't really matter that much. Yeah. I mean, it's some it's... Okay, I'm guessing... Alright, cool. No, that's not bad. King Alfonso, I'm not sure why it said my queen for stability has gone down, because the stability technically didn't go down until the queen died. But never mind. King Alfonso is a pretty good king, and King Enrique is even better. We need to have a look at advisors. Yeah, I'm actually thinking. Okay, this is an interesting one. I generally go for their interests are ours. It's gonna cost us a little in terms of mercantilism, but it stops Cuba from wanting to be independent, and I would much rather keep them on board. I tend to only raise the taxes once as well, which I don't think has come up yet. Yeah, as I was saying, um, probably try to do settling along the coast and actually take this trade node as well. So I'll have Amazonas and Brazil, and we will try to encourage the new nation to hang out in both trade nodes. That's good. Assimilation. Always good. Alright, let's get this army back. This was a good even. Land them in Africa. to help us defend ourselves. Could we maybe win this? To home me. Five and one, four and two. I think we could actually win this. Might regret it if I turn out to be wrong. We are attacking their defensive position across a river. And they've now managed to take over the home English. No, no, it looks like we're winning quite drastically. I've got a Roman marriage offer from Austria. Unfortunately, we've also got someone approaching. But then I think we were kind of doomed anyway, to be honest. Seriously thinking maybe I shouldn't even bother bringing the army over. We're just going to lose. It's a bit depressing, but what can you do? Fortunately, they're not that important as our provinces go. There's always a chance that Aragon's planning to do something. So I guess I will leave them to it. So I've taken Tlemcen, so that's something.
so there's a war with Timbuktu. No. No such luck. Alright, how about you have... Conquista. And I need to go and fetch this up in Okay, brilliant. Alright, our army's actually survived. Didn't expect that. Let's go and help. We possibly can. That's oh, alright, they're coming this way. Oh well, that's definitely appreciated. Thanks, Aragon. I guess you'll also be actually helping Portugal. There we go, Castilian Brazil has formed. Gonna improve relations with them as well. Uh, natives of Gold Coast have risen up. We haven't recovered our morale, but it looks like we're winning anyway. Having a general probably helps. Colonies started here, so we do need to get that army down there. Finished a conversion, that's good. So, load up. Should really make another unit to bring this up to six like the others. So I'm gonna give them a second set of guns. Since we're doing quite well with having six units each time. Good that Aragon is sticking around as well. Right, okay, now I've got a unit there, so I'm not expecting to need the castles. Let's mothball the forts at least. So in terms of money, we're actually doing quite well, probably because our army's smaller than it really should be. So let's see if we can convert Luxembourg while we've got the money to afford it. Uh, let's do a few places. It's only going to help. It's alright, I didn't really want to claim on liege. Speaking of, I might cancel the military access, except I can't, we don't have any diplomats. Let's just spin time on until we get some diplomats. Requests aid. Not very keen, but I suppose it's understandable. Let's raise some levies and let's ask for some money while we're at it. I think we're actually on our maximum manpower anyway, or close. So we probably didn't need that really. Never mind, let's cancel military access with Liege. I might try to... It's probably Jaeger, isn't it, or something? Not sure whether I should be pronouncing it French or Germanic. Going to improve relations with them. And let's just check our royal marriages. I haven't got one with Portugal. I should get one with Portugal. Most definitely. relations with them. Oh, with them, really? Not improve relations with England. I'm seriously contemplating actually allying England. Hmm. England like an air. That's something quite tempting. 
Still got one too many diplomatic relationships. Actually, thinking about it, if we can get our legitimacy up, we might be able to form Spain now. We have enough admin tech. Let's have a look. Form Spanish nation diplomatically. So we need to be at peace. Or they do. Both probably. And have a legitimacy of at least 100. So our next papal favour should be legitimacy. Right, okay. Tariffs on coffee. So what I tend to do is each colony I will do this once. And then I'll do I'll better leave it be. It's again mostly down to making sure we keep them happy because to me, although the money is great and I do need it, we should need it less and less as time goes on and I'm more interested in having <laughs> the nations handy, having allies all over the world. We've got the Malik of Tugor. Oh, lovely. Slavery. Right, we should probably go for this. Although I will be abolishing slavery first chance I get. Now it's one thing to play in character, but there are limits. Looks like this one is about to go. Tobacco. Okay, national loan has expired and stop trying to improve relations with Liege, which is fine. We've successfully converted Luxembourg, which is great because they were quite expensive. So let's start on some of the others. So we've actually got four conversions happening at once now. What this probably means is we need to start building a bigger army, basically. As uh, the fact that we have enough money is a little disturbing. Still, I'm not complaining for the time being. Okay, so... Hopefully this will make Florida, or whatever the nation ends up being called. Still a little annoyed that England took Havana. Would have liked to have got the whole island, but never mind. Not as annoyed as they're going to be when we start making inroads into North America, which is normally their department. Because normally England actually start colonising up here. I don't think they actually have. Which surprises me. They seem to be very behind. So yeah, not sure what's going on there. Oh, good to see the army's arrived. Okay. Oh yeah, we didn't actually lose our army down here, did we? So we're literally just waiting for Poland to get sick of this war and, uh, yeah, pack it in. We do of course have an uprising coming, which I should probably pay attention to. Algerian is next. 18k. Right then, well, it looks like my vassals are heading down there. So maybe I should head over here. So that we're loosely within range. The uprisings, and I'm just going to hope that the stream of vassals and allies going down there will actually do the job. Mildly annoyed that Poland's army doesn't seem to actually be doing anything. It's like they're literally expecting us to do this battle for them. Which, thanks to Aragon, we pretty much are. Although, yeah, at least that's being taken as our province, not Portugal's. Looks like there's some Portugal taken provinces here, so... Who knows? Got uh, a delegation from Cuba and one from Caribas. So, yeah, maybe Portugal's letting their vassals fight this one as well. 
kind of feel like it's less acceptable when it's you who's doing the wall, though. Okay, so... Supply limit is 28 for this. So I'm just thinking, let's just take a little bit of the army away. then they should be able to stay there without any problems. With that in mind, I'm just thinking, should we try and ex extricate that light ship from the navy? There we go. So we'll give them a protect trade mission. the Caribbean and also don't forget to tick this oh, some guy have accepted peace with Portugal it's nice I guess maybe they're accepting peace with everyone fast That's interesting, we might be able to actually get them to see the province, even though we don't have any claims. Huh. Might keep that in mind. Pretty sure you guys probably need the military leader there. Okay. Neapolitan pretender rebels. Mm, wonderful. Yeah, this is clearly going to be a problem. Okay. Colony in the Gold Coast is finished, which is good. Might make a colony here. So we're a little closer when we try and claim this land. Oh! Okay, slow down. We might actually be able to get this now. Clear offer literally just want this. Okay, they're not going to accept it, why not? I don't occupy any forts in the area. Okay. But we may occupy one soon. gives us stability, actions are shown as a true path gives us more papal influence. I think I'll go with stability, thanks. I haven't actually noticed we've gone down to plus one. Okay, let us go for grant indulgence for sins, which should improve our legitimacy and bring us closer to forming Spain. By fault, I want to pause. That is interesting. Don't think I care about that one particularly. Oh, transfer trade power. So yeah, we're basically at risk of great aggressive expansion, which incidentally, being the Curie controller helps with, we're going to claim these three pieces of land. Um, we're going to get some money, and we're also going to tell them to transfer 50% of their trade power to us for the next, like, 10 years. That is amazing. Cannot believe we got away with that. Okay, so it's going to be another place we could have uprisings. But nonetheless, I am very pleased with that. 
And yeah, we need to call them as well, don't we? Thanks, Portugal. You dragged me into a war that I probably wouldn't have gone into otherwise. Enjoy whatever you're planning to get out of this. Oh, and actually, we can make a state here. Any more African states? Nope. Cape Coast and Gold Coast. Yep, no problem. Okay, yeah, brilliant. So this isn't going to form into a colonial nation because it's in Africa. So we just got some more land to worry about. A bit like the land up there. So we just have to keep tabs on it. We could really do with making our armies bigger. But that is going to take a bit of money. Plus, we will get Aragon's army when we form Spain. So it might be a bit of a waste of money buying troops. Given that we're going to get a bunch of free, and if it takes us over our force limit, then we'll have to destroy some. is going to be over here, Tetuan. So if we can, can this army fit in Melilla? Fez is still doesn't have as much of a supply limit. Okay, great. So we're well on our way to getting Florida. We've got Castilian Brazil. So we've now got two colonists working there so we want to get this to 10 so we get another free merchant four five six seven so we've got a bit of a way to go before that happens but nevertheless it's a good start i am thinking it might start a colony here i think it'll still be part of brazil but it just means we'll have control over two of the trade nodes which would be nice I'll have to decide where to go next I'm half considering Panama which is also a trade node I don't think it's technically in our mission tree which I haven't looked at for a while so our next bit of mission tree for this is La Plata, which I think is extreme South America, so like Argentina. And the Spanish main, Colonial Colombia. And Panama's close to there. I think Colonial Colombia's probably... Well, actually, is that, not, is that French Colombia? Well, it still counts as France at the moment, so it doesn't really say. But I have a feeling it might be around here. So it's at least the right sort of area. But apart from the train though, Panama does kind of give access to the seas beyond, to the west. Which could come in useful. I mean, of course, we're also going to be dominating South America, so we don't necessarily need to worry too much about that. Uh, right, so these disputed successions, looks like England came up with a successor. Barden. I suppose Barden shares a border with us, didn't he? Bremen, Ulster, no, actually I think Barden, is it down here? That's Augsburg, that's Barden. Oh, actually, did, did we share a border? No, that's Alsace. Getting confused with the other yellow people. Plus they don't want to run marriage with us anyway. Might improve relations with them. 
just in case for the future. Privilege of Savoy as well. I haven't done that for a bit. Let's keep the diplomats working. Right. Now, oh, Harrigan's left some people here. It's kind of handy, because I've no doubt there'll be an uprising. I'll probably have to bring the army down. So, oh boy, right. So there's a trade node down here, Cape of Good Hope, which I would have liked to have got to first, but it looks like Portugal have beaten us to it. So we'll have to decide if we want to try and compete with them down here or just let them have South Africa and concentrate on Central Africa, given that we've got quite a good start on it. Which kind of might make sense, to be honest, because we can go a bit around here. All the way along here. Maybe it makes more sense just to accept it and let them have this bit. At least it might keep them busy for a while. I think um, Portugal as part of the mission tree does tend to go towards the east because of a historical thing. So it's possible they'll actually be quite keen to colonize down here, in which case they may leave South America for us. They've obviously done a lot of colonising here as well. It's England that really surprises me. I've never known them to focus on the Caribbean rather than North America before. Unless they're just bits we can't see. I mean, yeah, I'm definitely going to leave someone in North America, I think, see how much of it we can get. Portugal. Okay, they have a colony close to ours. Right, so they've taken some land as well. That's fine. Wasn't honestly expecting to get any of that land, so kind of owed them a vote of thanks. Plus, you never know. We might still get a personal union over them yet. Okay, so this colony's become self-sufficient, so rather than carry on there for now, I'm thinking... Let's do a colony here, right next to this trade node. So how about if I give you the Conquistador? That's good. So they're going to walk right through that unexplored patch there. Just give us a bit more exploration. So I should give the army the general. Here we still apparently have. So we're up to uprising, so we've got Neapolitan Pretender Rebels and Moroccan Separatists. But not that soon though. Tetuan Separatists, so Neapolitan Pretender Rebels. Which we probably are going to have to help with because I think Naples has... I mean, they haven't left troops down here. Nonetheless. didn't mention incidentally but in the economic uh, mission tree our next one is build a treasury so we should be trying to get to 2000 on the other hand we also want to pay these loans off so it swings and roundabouts really I need more galleys than the ottomans we we'll probably will get some galleys when we form spain now who, I think, are currently protecting Lubeck. I'm just wondering if Lubeck's a good option anymore. Plus 41, whereas the Caribbean plus 31? Fair enough then, I guess. Stick with Lubeck. Could do with building some more up-to-date ships soon. But then... We're a bit behind on diplomatic technology. Maybe we don't even have that many. Oh no, we do. Yeah, so certainly any new ships we build. Kind of rather form Spain first though. 
All eyes on the legitimacy. Tariffs on sugar. Right, this is Cuba again. And we've already done one on Cuba, so I'm going to leave it be. Still isn't bad, it gives us some uh, valuable monarch points. Got a new idea, military idea, improved manoeuvre, go for it. I think we're still ahead. Okay, we're not ahead anymore. Slightly behind in military technology, so we might want to get a military tech next time. We'll see. Okay. So what's happened this has also happened holy pretender rebels where are our boats really should have had them ready so they're not huge at the moment but they might become huge if we allow them to connect. Well, this sounds good, because it sounds like our other separatists have risen. Admittedly, not the separatists I was expecting. Beninese separatists, right, this isn't good. Still, just gonna have to deal with it as well as we can. Looks in a good position to take down the Morocco ones. It'd be great if these guys would rise up straight afterwards. Yeah, we we'll definitely have to make these armies more powerful. Uh, discovered textile manufactory. This is good. Accommodation with natives. Also good. that we were now losing money again. Now to be fair, it might be just because we're coring some provinces. So I'm really hoping Aragon stay put and actually help if we get an uprising down here. I'm going to unmothball the fort just to help out with that. But the other side of that is that we better go and help Naples. So let's load as many troops on as we can. Oh, that's good. Looks like Naples have dealt with the troops who were there, at least. Okay, let's do it. I'm basically counting on the Naples army joining in. Well, we might win anyway because they do have a castle. And we've still got those defensive ideas, so that's good. But it does look like they're joining in, which is even better. Excellent. Everything works so much better when we all join together and Okay, got another accommodation. It's always good. Looks like they wiped out the remainder of those rebels. So, excellent. I'm gonna head back to the main army. Get ready for our next uprising. Although apparently the Beninese are coming first. Can't exactly count on that though, can we? There's every chance that Aragon will actually deal with them for us. Yes, they will. Brilliant. Aided by the fault. 
Feels good. Okay, apparently our allies actually lost. Which allies? Doesn't look like Aragon lost. So I think this is definitely gone. Finished coring the province. Maybe it was a ship or something, like a naval battle. Not to worry, might muffle that. In fact, I'll just do a general mothball fort. So we've now only got one uprising coming up, which is good. And we're gaining money again, despite having a fully maintained army, which is even better. It's going to take a while. Let's check everyone else. Okay, new colony being built. Because what I'm actually thinking is I might take this one next with these guys and maybe keep these guys working down here. Hopefully, we don't have too much further to go actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we only need two more. So there's probably going to be a bit of a gap here. But I'm sure they'll fill it in themselves. Before you know it. <clears throat> or possibly. Mm, unless I leave them to fill that in. Nah, it's fine. Hopefully they'll be more motivated to fill in the gaps than they would be to just grow outwards. Repay loan, that's what I like to hear. What are we on now? Seven loans. So it's not too bad, we're kind of coming back from our terrible debts. Clergy want something doing. They can lose loyalty but we gain prestige or we can gain influence and lose more prestige i think i'm going to ignore them sorry clergy but you know sorry to lose the uh, the papal influence but the extra prestige is very welcome so yeah any minute now they're going to rise up i hope General, so let's take the conquistador. And that should be it. Final uprising for a bit. So yeah, I do think the army is too small, so it might be something we need to look at. But then I'd quite like to form Spain first. Over here. Because, uh, oh, colonial enthusiasm. That's good. Definitely good. Because I don't know how many troops and boats I'm going to get when Aragon joins us for good. I suppose we'll see. One thing I do want to do, actually, so we've got a plus five, we should be able to afford a plus one advisor in each section. So I'm going to do yearly inflation reduction, and do trade efficiency, which should give us more money. And let's go with discipline, because we are getting a little later in the game, so morale probably isn't as important. So that should help us a bit. It'll also give us an extra point every month, so I probably should have done that a bit ago. Kaffa, Mantua and Bohemia. Right, well Bohemia. Hmm. It does actually have Habsburgs already. But they're only the king's only twenty years old, so 
not really sure I fancy the chances. We've got Henry VIII, who bizarrely is Henry Lancaster in this timeline. So Austrian Poland, if a monarch dies. Hmm. All a bit debatable. How's Kildare doing? Fitzgeralds. Valois in Scotland. So I see there's some serious French influence on Scotland. It's a little worrying. Yeah, not sure. I don't think Bohemia is a particularly good opportunity, really. Mantua is probably too small and also not that good an opportunity. It might be wrong, I mean Bohemia is quite big. I'm just wondering if we want another costing point. I really need to think about these vassals and junior partners like the smaller ones because they're taking up a diplomatic relation. But anyway, let's leave it there for now and uh, I will see you next time.